It's pretty rare to find a privy that's completely full of 18th century artifacts. Matt was like, this is a privy. I'm like, I don't know what that is. And Matt's like, it's a toilet. <laughs> Things from very specific periods are thrown down those shafts. I didn't realize just how crazy things would get. Melissa's a composer, I fake being a musician, and we were hoping to have, you know, room for that stuff and thinking about buying in 2019. During that process, we found this listing for what ended up being a magic theater. That had just closed down and gone on the market. It had an apartment above it, and it was in this really great spot. So it's right on the border of Northern Liberty's old city and the Delaware waterfront. Like, it's incredible. 2016, construction started. I was on the site, and I found this base of a wine bottle. It didn't look like it had been made in a factory. And I was like, wow, that's fantastic. That, you know, it looks handmade, so it's pretty old. Along the length of the building, there were these pits that the construction workers dug. And one of the pits clearly was where most of this pottery trash was coming out of. I knew even at the time that it was a privy because a friend of mine found one in his backyard in Northern Liberties. It's essentially a latrine. Before they had plumbing in Philadelphia, they would dig these holes into the ground and line them with bricks and uh, build a commode. Finding things in privies is not uncommon in Philadelphia. I mean, we've had settlement here as Philadelphia since the 1680s. And the moment there are privies, that also means that they have a place to throw their trash. And because of that, we have, throughout the city, as long as the ground is undisturbed, we have these wonderful pockets of basically time machines. All of the research seemed to be suggesting that this stuff was possibly 18th century. The quantity of items that we found was kind of strange though. You think, I have not broken that many plates in my life. We found so many wine bottles and plates. Were they that drunk that they were breaking <laughs> plates every single day? That seems wasteful. So this little piece here, one of the first things that we noticed is there is this little mark on the bottom. It's the letter P. And the P stands for Philadelphia because this is where it was made. And there are only 19 surviving pieces from this factory up till this point. They are chamber pots. They are literally the pots that you would do your business in in the middle of the night. These uh, are some knives that we found under here and the handles are actually Scrimshaw bone. What I love about this piece is there's an air bubble in the middle, and I like to think about the fact that there is air in that air bubble that is from the 1700s, because this was hand blown. Our options are find a private collector or even a museum who might want to purchase some of our artifacts, or if we could potentially donate some of our artifacts to a museum and get a tax break. The third option would be our theatre becomes a combination theatre and museum. If the former residents of this building could see us now, pulling their most utilitarian, dirtiest items and displaying them proudly in our house and, you know, lovingly putting them together, the pots that they would literally go to the toilet in and I'm spending hours digging them out and cleaning them in my kitchen sink.